podcast number 11. <laughs> podcast number 11. We are going to talk about our recent trip to Portland. Yes. Our and, lifestyle trip. And what? Basically. And what life, our business trip. Our business trip and what lifestyle clubs are actually like. Yeah. Thank you for checking out the Impulsive Duo podcast. Remember, our content is for 18 and over. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And what we, where we visited and kind of review them. And yeah, just about our kind of weekend in Portland and just some experiences to share. I mean, that's kind of the fun part is getting to share those experiences with others. And Yeah, because I mean, everyone I think assumes just if you're in the lifestyle, that's all you do is hook up and that's that's all it is. And, yeah. and it's really not. Um so we took our trip to Portland. We left on Friday, yep, landed left. on Friday. Yeah, we got there Friday evening. We got there kind of late. Um, Eric had to work during the day, and so we got there kind of late, or, you know, and I have kids and stuff. My dad flew into town, so we, we left kind of late. We got to Portland around like 8.30. Yeah, 8.30. Yeah, so we got there, um, and we just went to our, our hotel and got checked in and then got some dinner because we were starving by the time we got there. We have great food up in Portland, too. Oh, my God, yeah. It's just fun to experience new restaurants that we don't... Because, I mean, we have some really good restaurants here in Boise, but it was really fun. To, it's just fun to... We love... We're foodies, so it's really fun to, like... Well, we're foodies, and we like adventure. So, like, yeah. our main thing... Like, yeah, we're going to the, the lifestyle clubs, yeah. but it was like, hey, let's make, like, the most fun out of this trip. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, we went to, we went to dinner... And then we got ready, and we were kind of tired. We weren't, like, feeling, like, going big, going crazy, like, doing a party night by any means. And, like, I didn't want to be hungover the next day, so I didn't really want to drink or anything. But we definitely, since we were there, we had to take advantage of, you know, checking out another club because Saturday was going to be our big night. So we went and checked out a club called The Velvet Rope. We were going to go to the Sanctuary was our initial plan because it was closer to our hotel. And they were doing an event called Naked Karaoke. Yeah, I wanted to do the Naked Karaoke. Yeah, and we were like, well, that would be fun to go watch. Like, it'd be, we just figured it'd be good people watching. But they required a negative COVID test. And we got there late and didn't really think about it before. And so we were like, hey, well, that's not going to happen now. And so we... And that was one of the things that if you're going, especially still right now, is check the websites and what these lifestyle clubs require. Because we didn't even think about it because... You know, it's airports. Kind of calmed and, down. Well, yeah, airports, and it's also yeah. cal- COVID's really calmed down here where we live. Yeah, but I know it's still very prevalent in other places. But like, we're just lucky in the community that we live in. It's like, you know, not there's there's not really mm-hmm. any cases of it right now. So, it's just not on our like the forefront of our minds. So yeah, we didn't think about it. Um. So yeah. So they required a negative COVID test. So we didn't. We didn't go there. So no. we went to the Velvet Rope instead. Yep. So we took, which is a little bit further. But on the way there, we had the, our Uber driver on the way there. So our Uber driver picked us up, and Barrett, the nice lady, she had a service dog with her, and she was like, um, she was like, oh, yeah, I've gone to that club several times. And we're like, oh, cool. She was like, yeah, I only I only play with couples. And we were like. Uh, yeah, I only date couples. I'm like, what are the odds? I was like, so you're a unicorn? And she was like, yeah, you could say that. And I was like. What are the odds that, like, out of all the Uber drivers we get in Portland... We is, have a unicorn. We have a unicorn as our Uber, Uber driver. And so we just, like, thought it was funny. So she was telling us about the club and saying, she, you know, she'd played there a couple times and stuff. But she had liked it. Um, so, we, uh, yeah, so we went there. And it was... Um, so when you go in, you have to... I mean, they check IDs. You have to sign waivers. You have to... And they're not cheap. That's the thing about these clubs. It's not like any, like, that's what other people I don't think that are in the lifestyle realize that the clubs. No, these clubs are yeah. not cheap. They're, I mean, how much, for both of us, it was what, like? Um, it we're, was we're, 60 we're, at was, that club. It was 60 at that club. And that was because we were a couple. Mm-hmm. If you're a single male, it is more. I think it's like 60 alone. I mean, I don't quote me on this. I did look it up on the website. But for a single female, yes, it's definitely much cheaper. Yep. Couples are usually like right in the middle, and then a single male is a lot more. Expensive. A lot more, a lot more money, yeah. and so you just you got to be aware of it when you go because it's not like going to a bar downtown. Yeah, they're pretty strict downtown. about just letting anyone wander in. And when you walk in, it's like a separate room. You know, security. you can't see the club. There's security. There's people explaining what's you know going on. You know that you're comfortable. You have to sign things stating that you're you know following the rules. There's a lot of rules. There's you know, a lot of rules. No phones. No. Mm-hmm. Um, no, no, no creepiness, no, no harassing. I mean, they no, literally no. put on the rules, don't, don't be, be creepy. creepy. <laughs> and uh, and the one thing that happens is when you do go in, after you pay and everything, they'll always ask you if you want a tour. Always do the tour. Always, no matter what the club is, if it's your first time there, always do the tour because it's it's fun and you get the whole layout of, yeah. of the whole club. And there's rules in certain areas. And so, like, right. the rules weren't really posted. And so, like, certain areas you couldn't have alcohol. And, 
you know, and I wasn't aware that in Oregon, you can't, if the door shuts, you're not allowed to have alcohol in there, which is, you know, those are, those are just Oregon laws. And so, yeah, the tour is nice because they said, you know, what was allowed in what areas. And plus because. It showed of, you like the back rooms, like where the restrooms were, like what, how, you know, how you would know if a room was clean. Like, yeah, there's just rules. There's rules. And yeah. I mean, like even with the velvet rope. So that one is really the first club. I mean, the one that we went to in Vegas, I mean, had hot tubs, but no one. I mean, it was well, cold. Well, because it was windy. And it was, no one was winter, outside. yeah. It was outside, But yeah. this one had indoor hot tubs, and, you know, they were real they were, they were real clear because you don't know necessarily, like, hey, what's all allowed in the hot tub. So they go through and explain to you. Yeah, like, you weren't allowed. The hot tub was just pure for relaxing. Pure, pure relaxing. No playing in the hot tub, no alcohol, right. no food. Like, they're, I mean, they're pretty, they hold these, you know, pretty high standards, and so... And get a locker. If you bring stuff, get a locker and bring a lock. Yeah, because you, you're usually you not wearing a, a ton of clothes, like especially girls. You know, like we're wearing little dresses or whatever. You don't have a ton of pockets. Like Eric had pockets, but um, even then, it's hard but to I, and I even had my sweater stuff. with me because it was raining that night. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so they do have lockers, and you can usually buy locks um, at the front, or you can bring your own. Um, and the lockers are first come, first serve. But there was, I look like there was still lockers. There's still lockers yeah. there available. So we took the tour of the club, and it was fun. It was two stories. Yeah, two stories and it was very cool because there was like a whole downstairs like dance area bar hot tub like some rooms but then like upstairs it was just like tables chairs and like pool tables pool like a table lounge like you didn't feel like you were right. in like a it was like a lounge lounge yeah. like you felt like you were just at a bar yeah they were even having like a birthday party somebody was having right. a birthday party <laughs> right. there there was like balloons was and like tape i mean an adult birthday party <laughs> obviously but yeah they were like and then there's a bar up there and then they took you back around and then they had the um, the rooms were downstairs for couple play. Yeah, there was couples only, and they're um, really strict about that. And then they had the areas where, you know, you could have people join, or you could have the door shut and no one join. But then upstairs, they had the group play room, which those are always fascinating to go into the group play room. Yeah, and when we got the tour, like, it was still early enough, like, nothing was really going on, so, like... We just, you know, kind of got the tour, and uh, there was this big round bed with, let's just say, educational movies being played. That you could reenact the educational movies. Yeah, scenes. and our our uh, tour guy. He was he was awesome. Oh my god, he was so funny and so like animated, and I wish I would have got his name. To I know because he out. he was He's super cool. Nice, this guy, but um, he was like, yeah, and if you see anything on the you know on the the screen, you want to reenact. Like we we're just there, like there okay. you go. The, the only thing that is is different about these clubs that like always kind of weird me out a little bit is even at this one the group play room there are always single guys just chilling in there yeah well not every night is a lot I mean some guys sometimes there's not even single guys right. allowed, but these most a lot of the nice stars and it didn't give me like really like creepy like I felt unsafe at all no, but it was just no. like these single guys like sitting there and I was like Especially when a woman walks into the group. Yeah, party. everyone, everyone looks. looks. Everyone like, looks. <laughs> like, hey, you're the center of attention right now. Are you going to go to that bed or not? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> no. So, I don't like being... No, no. That's, no, no. So that's not part of the lifestyle that we planned. But So we checked out that whole area up there. And we ended up you know, deciding, hey, you know, let's just sit and chill um, yeah, we, got we, were, drink we were a little bit exhausted, so we got some yeah. drinks, and we sat upstairs and talked for a while. Just, and then, like, people watching. I mean, really, and not, like, in a mean way. Like, it's just cool people watching it, you know? And it's, a lot of the clubs will have theme nights, and so this one, I think, was, like, was like a lingerie. Like, the swirl, yeah. swirl events is putting on a late lingerie party. So it was just, like, cool to see, you know, the different girls' outfits, the guys' outfits. Like, you know, some people are really dressed up. Some people are just in normal, like, cocktail attire. Some people are just in their normal clothes. Some people are topless. Some yeah, people and some are... people are... Not wearing many clothes at all, yeah. and um, a lot of the clubs have um, had to have dress codes. You definitely want to check online, depending on the club, depending on the night, the, the event. Um, so you definitely want to check their dress code. And this one seemed a little more casual. A little than, bit more casual, yeah. and it's also... We were dressed, like, I had, like, just, like, a top and, like, a skirt on. I wasn't dressed, like... Well, women's dress attire at the clubs, uh, or at the, um, yeah, clubs, I mean, are a lot different than what the guys are. Oh, well, yeah, the Cause, girls, cause they, they don't really care They don't care what the like... girls, they don't, they literally kind of don't care what the girls wear, but with guys, it's name brand, you know, jeans or slacks. No tennis shoes, no t-shirts, no holy jeans. You wore tennis shoes to this one, though, and it was fine. But you and were wearing a nice button-up, though. But, yeah, too. I had a button-up, too. Yeah. Um, he had a nice button-up on, so it wasn't, like, the tennis shoes. And he was wearing nice jeans, mm -hmm. and, like, you looked presentable. Right. And it was, like, a difference, yeah. Yeah, no, there's, there's a huge difference. And so 
Uh, no, we just kind of ended up people watching that whole one, and we didn't play at all because we needed to do spicy content. Yeah, we had to get home, make, we had to get home, get back to the hotel to make our content. Right. So we didn't really do anything, and it wasn't really like there really was. I mean, we left at like what one. We left around one. And there was not even very many, like, people, pl like... No, because, like, we literally hung out because she was like, I am disappointed. I at least want to watch somebody doing something. Yeah, I was like... I she has a fascination with watching people. Well, I just want to, like, you know, you're here. You're like, I want to see something spicy and naughty. I'm already here. Right. And there was, like, no like nothing going on. No. Just dancing and stuff, which was cool. Um, oh, I did tell my favorite, not my, not my favorite part, but like those voyeur, the voyeur rooms. The voyeur rooms, I would have totally played in those that Those were you. very cool. So on the dance floor, this whole one side of the dance floor was like glass windows and there were separate rooms. Two separate rooms. Two, no, there's, there was three. Oh, was there? Yeah, so there's three rooms and you could go in these rooms and, you know, do it's, whatever. It's clear, and, and it's, it's clear All glass. clear. Whole thing is glass. So you can't really hear, like people can't, you know, it's all glass. So you're inside. These were, well, not all glass, I guess the back wasn't glass, yeah. but the front, people could see through the yeah. dance floor. And, um... I would have totally played in that room. I don't like, know, that was a big audience. Because I, I, I thought about it. No, I would have. I would have been totally down. If we you go, were nervous at the one in Vegas. Yeah, because it took me a... That one was a little bit different. What threw me off was the line, the one, like, so, in these, the one thing, like, here versus even the other one in Vegas that we went to, um... You couldn't do certain things even if you weren't participating that you could per se in the Vegas one. So when um, when we're going at it and you're like, dude, there's a guy over there just working his magic on himself. Could do that at this club. But not on the dance floor. Yeah, the dance floor. That's true. They were very so, strict about what you could and couldn't do. Right. Yeah. So I I like I thought it already all. Well, and the doors. I mean, you could probably still hear the music in there, but, but it was it was quiet. Yeah, you don't you don't look You're over and there's there. everyone's smiling face just like looking through one door. Yeah. <laughs> But it, I mean, it was fun. We didn't do anything. Um, we, she did get to see some action though. Before yeah, by the way, right before we left, there was this room called the. I was called the sixty nine room. Yeah. I don't know, like why per se. And it's funny being. It had like a low ceiling. Well, yeah, we went, went from bed. tall to low. Yeah, and it had like a long bed. So finally, before we left, and I was like, because it's like up, and there was like a glass window, and I was like, look, look, they're doing something. So, <laughs> so we we had that, and then. Uh, you know, that was just, that was our time at the club. Like, you, when you yeah. go to these clubs, you don't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. Like, it's one of those things, like, I suggest clubs for anybody who's curious about the lifestyle. Because you don't have to do anything with anyone else. And you can literally people watch, you can observe. Because, I mean, like, with me, one of my biggest issues, even in this lifestyle, still is even, you know, you're, you're self-conscious, you're body conscious. Um, if you have any kind of, like, body issues, it kind of brings it out. I mean, yeah, and then you get to the club yeah, and you see say, all different shapes there, and sizes and everybody having fun. And you're like, you know cares. what? It, it, nobody cares. It's all in my head. It's like, all in your head. It's all in your head before you go. And the second you walk in that door, like, your inhibitions are just like, you're like, everyone's so confident. Everything, yeah. Different, yeah, shapes, sizes, ages, races, like, everything. Yeah. You're like, oh, nobody cares what I look like. Right. No, no one's judging, no one's judging me. And that's the thing. I've never seen such a group of people who are just, like, free who they want to be. Like, uh -huh. that's what was so awesome. Yeah. Like, you know, like. And respectful because it's not like going to, like, a strip club yeah, where, where strippers are getting smacked on the ass. Or even a normal club. Girls, and... like, even, like. I mean, Shane and I were talking about that. Like, girls in general, like, when we go to clubs, you know, you got guys coming up behind you trying to dance yeah. with you. And, like, in clubs like this, none of that. It is so unbelievably, like, they're so strict about the rules. That, I mean, you'll be kicked out in a heartbeat, first of all, yeah. anything in it like that. And so there's so, people are just so conscious of the rules and not being weird. And they, it's almost like, no like one, like, people, it's, like, hard to approach people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, and like, if I was, if like I was. Like, that one guy behind me was like, I like your shoes. And I was like. Thank you. Yeah. And he was like, my wife has, my wife's heel, feet hurt or like something. And uh -huh. I was like, oh, and like it was just like he was. Yeah. Different. No, you have to remember that it's completely different than a normal like club Like he probably was actually just atmosphere. complimenting me on my shoe. Yeah. But I mean, that's the thing though, is you get so defensive because you're used to how clubs are. Yeah. I'm like, why are you talking to me? So that was the velvet rope. I mean, would we go back? I'd go back. I actually would just because of well, the Well, the people room. watching. Yeah. The, the people watching. Well, the people watching was really good. Um. Definitely, especially if we had like a couple days in Portland. I mean, depending on what we were doing, mm -hmm. but yeah, I'd probably stop in. Sorry, I think I think I feel like I fix your eyebrows on like every. You do. <laughs> That's what I noticed them. The uh, so I mean, it was it was cool. I mean, it, just like with any of the clubs, you'll hear good and bad reviews. Like mm -hmm. we have never been to a club that I would say is just a horrible club. No. Uh, when it comes to lifestyle clubs, you know, it might not be our crowd, but it's still. There, there's that crowd in the way of are they really super kind, respectful, friendly, or you know, or is it the crowd that hey, I want to play with everyone in the crowd? Like it's, you know, there, there's different parts and aspects of it. But it was it was a cool club. I mean, it's it's 
If I had her choice, though, the second club definitely. The girl at the front desk was scary. She was like, and not scary as in like, like, like looking or anything, but like she was like intense and like very matter of fact. Like there was oh, no was like very... she was serious. I was like, hey, like I was like, oh, you know, and she's just like, ideas. I was like, uh, okay, <laughs> which is almost good. Like they don't put up with. Shit. No, because even when we were leaving, there was a guy. Yeah, there, that there guy. Was a, there, you know, and this is one of those things I feel comfortable with. There's a single guy and he was, you know, checking in. And they're very upfront. She's like, you cannot be upset if you go in and you do not, you know, yeah, participate like, with oh, anyone. Is it really like $70? And she's like, yeah, don't, it's your first time here. Don't expect to get laid. Yeah. And she goes, and you can't be upset or anything like yeah, that. Don't she be upset. Like, I don't, you know. They were um, just getting kind of a weird vibe yeah, from him. I don't even yeah. know if he ended up going in. I don't know if he did either. And they're like, you, you, and you don't get a tour unless you've paid already. I mean, there, and there's reasons to all those rules. Like, and I don't blame them. Yeah. Um, because they're they're there for everybody's safety, protection, and and comfortability. I mean, it's a comfortable environment. Yeah. Um, and then you know, no phones are out throughout the whole place, so it's it's very comforting uh, to go into those. But that was our that was our first night in Portland. We went back and ended up just making spicy content and went to sleep because we had a busy day for the next day planning. Yeah. Are you a female, eighteen and over, interested in learning more about the lifestyle? Come join us at unicornlanding.net to connect with other women in a safe and fun environment. So then we got up and um, our friend, we actually slept in way later than we thought. We did. Um, and our friend um, that lives in Southern Oregon, um, who yes, is a unicorn, she was gonna come up for the weekend. She'd never been to a club. She wanted to come up and check it out. So we invited her to come up and stay with us on Saturday. And so she came up in the morning and brought us coffee. Which was, that was awesome. <laughs> she was a lifesaver. They that had was, coffee in the hotel, but it was very good. It was oh, very we didn't good. talk about our hotel. We'll talk about that. We stayed at, uh, we'll, talk, we'll talk about our hotel. We got to review our hotel. <laughs> um, the, um, the, oh yeah, so she brought coffee. And then yep. we, we took an Uber to the zoo. Yeah, we went to the zoo. Portland Zoo is phenomenal. Oh, amazing zoo. We, like just the way they have like the, like the paths like in through like, Kind of the hills and the different levels and like you feel like you're in the jungle you feel like you're in the mm -hmm. like the, in the animal cage like the animal enclosures are done so well that it looks like they're, they're part of the environment. environment and yeah very very nice zoo yeah we spent a couple hours at the zoo that was mm -hmm. a lot of fun um enjoyed it ate lunch at the zoo and then ended up taking... they didn't have a ton of food that was the only, that was thing. The only a couple thing. of restaurants were closed yeah we don't know if that was just because it was like off season or what, but they did have some food. We got those like chicken strips, pizza, like there was like a few, you know, like zoo food, mm -hmm. uh, but it was fine. Cause so, you gotta, if you're making a trip like this, you gotta enjoy the area that you're going to. And that was our big thing was like, we gotta do the zoo. But was, we just love zoos. And, yeah. yeah. So we went to, so we did that. And then we rode after we went to the zoo. Took the tram back. Took the tram, the max, which we were trying to decide. Is it a train? Is it a tra It's not a tram because it's not on a... Is it a tram, a train, or a subway? They call it... Well, the subway is underground, yeah. but it did start underground. So we had to go... It was kind of cool at the zoo. You got to go all the way underground, like way to underground, and then it takes you, and then you do come up and out. So mm -hmm. but they call it the max train, so I guess it would be a train. It would be a train. Yeah. So we took that. We went to the mall. Oh, yeah. We had to go do a little shopping. We went and got some some wine to, some wine. to start the evening. <laughs> Um, and we did a little show, you know, we did a, just bought a couple souvenir things. We collect pins everywhere we go. Yep. So we got our so pin. So we got our pin and, um, we then, like the little pins that you, you know. And then we went back to our hotel, the, what was the name of the hotel? So the hotel was called the Royal Sonesta. Yeah. So N-E-S-T-A. Super cool hotel. Very cool hotel. Real, it used to be called the Vintage, and so it was real funky, like different colored like wallpapers and carpet. Very Oregon, and, Portland. Yeah, very like just vintagey, funky, like um, kind of mid century, a lot of mid century furniture. Yeah. Uh, very cool. The nicest guy's name was Scott. He was a very cool guy. They got to check us, us in. in. The nicest guy, and they were so friendly. Um, the bell guy. They're all just so nice. Super, super yeah, awesome. Yeah, our room. Place. Yeah, in our room was. If you look at our TikToks, you can kind of see some of the room. It was real funky, mm -hmm. bird wallpaper and like orange, orange floor, yeah. green shades. Yeah, it was very funky. It was very funky. <laughs> it beautiful windows. So yeah, we had a king bed and they had like some sweet. sliding doors. We had like a sweet and then it had, we had there was a couch with a pull out. Um, and like two separate TVs. And, and that's the funny thing. When we go out, we really don't spend that much time in our room. Uh -uh. Well, and if we do, it's like we're going live or we're getting ready yeah. Yeah. or filming. Uh, or we're film, usually filming. Or filming uh, content. But we, so we got back from the zoo and her and I, I mean, we decided to take a nap. We napped for like We napped because like the one thing is once you start hitting like a lot of clubs, because you do stay up super late. 
Um, we ended up taking a nap, woke up, and then it was time to start getting ready. Yeah, so we got ready. So we went to Prov Provada was that oh, night. we went to dinner. That was our big night. So we, well, we started getting ready a little bit, though, and then went to dinner. Well, yeah, and we got ready for dinner, like got dressed and ready, and then we went to dinner. Mm -hmm. We walked to dinner, and then we came back and finished getting ready. Right, we went to... So we went to Portland City Grill, which is also very cool if you're in Portland. Um, it's on the 30th story. It's on. It was on 5th and Pine area downtown. Mm -hmm. I remember, because I was saying where it was when we were walking there. Um, yeah, it's on the 30th story of this... I don't think it's a hotel. It was like office building. Office building yeah. or whatever. But it was very cool. So it had a whole view of Portland. And we were there was still light when we were there. But the per Sheena, the girl that we were with, said that at night when it's like dark... You can see all the lights from the city and everything, and it was very, very pretty. So yeah, Good food. Yeah, food was good, good drinks. We didn't drink much there because we were trying to pace ourselves through the evening. So I had a glass of wine, and we had some good, good appetizers and food. Yeah, just sat and talked, and then then it was like, all right, let's go get ready. Yeah, and then we went back to the hotel, and, and we did have a... all of our costume <laughs> stuff. and It was a glow party, so yeah. it was definitely get on costume time. Yeah, so they did a glow party, which means that... And guys, if you are going to a club like this with your lady, don't feel bad if you don't have as much of a cool costume as they do, because you won't compete cool costume-wise. It's just, it's not possible. Even when we were there... The guys no. were all in just, like, yeah, shirts. Yeah, shirts and whatever, but, you know, the women were all done up. Yeah, but they had, like, we got, like, glow-in-the-dark tattoos, and we had, like, you know, glow-in-the-dark wrist bracelets, and I had, like, a little glow-in-the-dark headband, and Shane had a little, you know, like, we yeah. just had a bunch of, like, glow-in-the-dark flashy stuff. Eric did have glow-in-the-dark shoelaces that I got him for his tennis shoes, which were kind of cool. Those were cool. Yeah, and um, he had a couple tattoos on, and we had tattoo paints. And then when we got there, they ended up having some glow bracelets, and, um like pens that people could use but they also a lot of people were neon which was really cool because mm -hmm. that glowed and like my nails were neon at the time so mm -hmm. that all glowed like underneath the black light so that was kind of cool yeah. so anyways so we get to Pravada and it's pretty busy already yeah we notice and so there's already a line outside and it's like 10 it's like 10 30. it was 10 30 and, and we kind of I kind of had that feeling too because when there's another couple that we had talked to from TikTok uh, that hit us up and they're like hey we're gonna get there probably we're gonna try and get there early they're saying like 8 39 or whatever to get a locker um we got there about 10 30 we actually beat them there um and so there, there was a line actually to get yeah, in. yeah there was a the line club. to get out in because you have to check everybody in and that's the other thing just like the other club you go in it's a separate room there's a, you have to wait in the line you have to make sure your waivers are signed they have to check your ids you have to pay and if you can do the waivers online do the waivers yeah, online do them online ahead of time um you have to check in you have to pay um you know they kind of go over a few rules put your phone down they do ask you if you want a tour we didn't do a tour, which I wish we would have. I wish we would have, too. We didn't do a tour only because we knew we were meeting some friends there, and we were like, oh, let's just have them show us around and, like, not worry about it. So, um... <clears throat> so, we got in there. So, yeah, we got in, and right when you walk into Pravada, it's, like, a big dance... I mean, not huge, but there's a dance floor, right? And you walk in, and the bar is, like, on the left. Um, bartenders super cool. All the bars in these clubs, the bartenders oh have all been so super nice. cool. And they do not ignore you like other bars. No, like everybody is served. So and these really... clubs. They were just like it's not like a normal you're, club. You're going to a club and they almost like are like annoyed you're there. They're like, what do you want? Yeah, and they're just right. like Or they're only picking out like the single ladies yeah, or these people something. are like, hey. And everybody here. everybody gets served. It's very quick, very speedy, like I was super like, cool. What is going on? How yeah. nice everyone is. The bouncers were not like the bouncers are super cool. Long. Yeah, bouncers are super cool. They were like, cool. Do you want a tour? And they were like, that old guy was like yeah, so so we get there, we get the drinks, and we're, we see the dance floor. Um, Cassidy was the app that was putting on the Cassidy was putting on the event. Putting yeah. on the event, so we, we kind of were curious, like what it looks like when a, uh, an app puts on an event. Um, and we started looking for lockers. One lockers were filled, and we ended up asking somebody that yeah, worked they, there. Yeah, it was downstairs. All the lockers were already full downstairs, and they're like, right. "Well, the upstairs is open until eleven thirty, but if you ask, like, might, so they might let you go what? up there." So we go to the thing and like ended up like one of the guys was like here just go up don't say anything and so we got up there let us sneak up to the locker let us sneak up there nice. so we got onto the third floor so it's a three-story club so we got on the third floor we used the locker and then we saw a, a older individual up there that worked for the club and we we're like he was like oh hey how did you guys get up here and we we're like oh they let us up and he was cool about it and then he, we were like you know can you show us around a little bit Super cool, like at a lot of places, like if you ask a normal bouncer or somebody at a club, like, hey, could you show me around or whatever, they'd be like, no. But he's like, oh yeah, hey, no problem, come on with me, guys. And like, they're excited. Like everyone takes pride in the club that they work for almost. 
And so, this is a very nice high-end club. Very clean. Very, very clean. Very nice. It's probably the cleanest of the clubs that we've been to. Very upscale. Um, I felt very, very upscale. Very upscale. Very safe. Like, there's people constantly walking around, cleaning up all the glasses. Just all the tables were, you know, wiping down tables. And so he gave us the upstairs of Pravada was the kind of the couples area only. So like we, all the VIP, right? The VIP. So you can rent out a VIP room. Yeah. Um, and there was another bar up there. And there's another bar up there. The VIP room was rented out and there's a bar and a whole hangout area and a big, big uh, TV up there playing uh, educational films. And then there's a whole Thank sign that says know. couples area only. And there's, there's a security that walks around in there and they had, Two different like bedroom areas where there's a bench where like couples could sit and watch other couples. Um, again, in those areas, you can invite other people in if you want to. Um, they had the like little um, it's probably better you like, do get like into mosquito details. netting. By then, I had I didn't have too many drinks, but I had a few drinks, and I did was wearing my glasses, right? And so I could see people, but like the details of things, Eric was basically had to be my eyeballs. Yeah, that's that's the joy of being sober in these clubs. And I couldn't so. get my contacts in. So you walk in and they, they, like upstairs on all floors, they have an area for ice water, coffee, all that. Yeah, really they, super they cool. Have, yeah, Tra like, trash is easily located too, so you can throw all your stuff out. Yeah, and they, uh, I love bathrooms they on all the floor. water everywhere, coffee everywhere. Yeah, and, and so then you go into that couple's area and there's a sign and they even said, hey, you know, just like with all the clubs, a couple areas, a couple can go in or a single female can go in. If you're in a couple in, like if her and I were in the couple area and she left, I have to leave with her. Um, I can leave by myself. She can stay. I can come back in as long as I'm part of her. But you have to tell them on your way out. Exactly. So you say, I'm leaving. I'm going to the restroom. I'll be right, right. back. Yeah. There's a bouncer that's downstairs. So there was two. They're very areas. strict about that. There was one area when you walked into the couple's area, they had fans back there because the ventilation back there wasn't the greatest, but they had these big fans that made it very ventilated. Um, I was like, <laughs> yeah. And so there's beds and there's two beds in the first two areas. And then there's benches you could sit and watch and, and you could do stuff while you watch the other couples play. Um, then there was two different rooms. Again, uh, they have windows and stuff on them. You can pull the curtains if you wanted to. You could leave the doors open. Um, there's big group activity towards the end in one of the rooms. Um, and then you go back into another area. There was no benches, but then there was three beds. And they have the whole thing, you know, you don't mess with the beds. When you're done with the beds, you know, everyone kind of follows the rules. There's protection on the bed. The beds are made. Uh, when you're done, you know, throw out all your protection. You don't have to wipe anything down, but take all the sheets and stuff off and yeah, like a put them in thing. a hamper. Yeah, like a hamper, yeah. So you can throw any sheets on, and then that gives them the sign that the it needs to be clean. They come over and they sanitize everything. Yeah. And then they'll remake the beds with clean sheets and like put new stuff on it. And that's kind of a sign that the bed's been sanitizing. Right. Cause, so. cause you don't, you don't, these are things that you don't really realize. No, you don't really that's, where, it. Like, that's where these lifestyle clubs and even clubs kind of get a bad name. Cause you're like, dude, how many people have just done it on this bed? <laughs> you know, no, like it's, it's, they, they wipe these things down. They're, they're, Probably cleaner than a lot. They're, they're cleaner than any club I've been to. Probably cleaner than our own bed. <laughs> I know. You, know, you know what I mean? You wash your own sheets every day. I know. So that was the top floor. And you go out and there's a there's a bar there. Tons of seating. Uh, we went down. That, room was, was, that one was kind of cool because it was all like red lights upstairs. Yeah, it was all red lights. It was very, very, it was very cool up there. Uh, we went back down to the first floor. Um, they had the dance floor area, the bar. We yeah. Had, and then they had, like, even behind the bar, there was this whole area where there was a bunch of seats, um, like chairs and bar tables. So if you didn't want to be out on the dance floor, you could go back into the back little area, that's still it. see the dance floor. Yeah, and so this is one of the things that I really, really loved about this club. And, like, anyone that wants to experience a lifestyle club, they're new to it, and they want to check it out, but they're like, I don't really want to, like, see a bunch of, I'm not ready to, you know, go into any rooms yet. I'm not ready to really walk, you know, like, you just don't know what you're comfortable with yet. Um, this club was so awesome because you go in, it was a dance floor, a bar, tables, restrooms. You never even had to go upstairs or mm. back to the back. Like you, there are people that aren't even really in the lifestyle per se. They go to these clubs. Because just have fun. Just have fun because it's, you know, good music and there's, it's a, a theme party and people are dressed kind of sexy and you know, you kind of get to like, yeah. kind of live, like let your inhibitions down a little bit, but you don't have to like even see any of that. And that's one of the things I really liked about Pravada is it, it I feel like it really, like no one's like naked or doing anything out on the dance floor so you don't even are anywhere in like the vicinity so you can go to these clubs and not even experience any of that right because so it's a this... good very good stepping stone for yeah because them. because that whole little area there there's bathrooms there there's no stripper poles or anything like that there's a cage, there's but, a it's cage. Just, but everyone's cl it's just girls dancing in a cage yeah. it's just girls that get up on like a little stage and dance nobody is like right it's not like a so i mean it's it's super it's it's super friendly in that mm -hmm. area 
Um, we ended up dancing for a little bit. Uh, or like still sore. Still sore. <laughs> she, she ended up, this was the first time she ever got recognized. I did. I got recognized from by, TikTok. By, from TikTok by a girl there. She's like, oh, I follow you on TikTok. She's like, are you the unicorn landing girl? And I was like, yeah. yeah I follow you. It's cute. She got, she got all kind of like nervous and embarrassed. Like it's, <laughs> it was cute. Um, but we had a lot of fun. We stayed on that dance floor for what, probably an hour, two hours. I mean, we were there for a while and eventually we got to finally to the point. And that's a cool thing. Like we're on the dance floor, we're having fun. We ended up meeting up the couple that had yeah, the couple that from TikTok. Um, um, they were a very, very nice couple. They super go super cool couple in the lifestyle for a while. They, um, they go to the club every once in a while. They haven't been too much lately, but right. every once in a while they've been there a few times. They live in Oregon, not too far. Mm -hmm. And they came up to stay for the weekend. And yeah, so it was really cool to meet just like other people in the lifestyle and like, talk about their experiences. And yeah, they were really nice. Mm -hmm. They were super cool. Then we, um, we ended up just sitting even at the tables and just talking for a while. And then it was like, hey, you know, you want us to give you more of a tour. And so they ended up actually giving us a more detailed tour. So on the first floor, um, when you went back from where the water was and like, the, um, where all the tables and stuff were in the lockers, there's another couple's area down there. And in that couple's area, there's like this long bench. Um, there was um, educational videos being played. There was? I didn't yep. see, I didn't see and the educational then, And then there were some um, beds down there. And again, it was again, it was another couple's only area. And people were sitting there. Uh, by that time, we were actually getting to watch people. Yeah, by that time, people um, were starting to like more participate. Yeah, like, you know. Like participate. And then they took us up to the second floor. The second floor didn't have a bar, but it had the group play area, open beds. And then all along the walls were all the rooms. And again, uh, if the door shut, no, no alcohol or drinks allowed in them. Uh, it overlooked the dance floor so you could watch and people watch from up there. There's a stripper pole little area with Yeah, we got to see some people play on the stripper, dance on the stripper pole. Dance, dance cool. on the stripper poles, yeah. Um, and then all along the outside were all the rooms. And that's where, it, like, we were kind of debating, like, what do we want to do here at the club? Like, do we want to play here at the club or not? And it kind of made it difficult because there was more, there's way more people than there were rooms. And so, like, at any given time, like, all the rooms were taken. Yeah, it um, got pretty busy. So it got Especially really, Especially the later really it got in the busy. night, and it was like... Yeah, so it was like, oh, like, you really couldn't play in a room. Like, you, you, you it was almost like they needed, like, a number system, like, grab a number for a room type yeah, deal like because... Yeah, room. But then we were like, okay, there's these rooms, and they're, you know, not, like, super big, and they're just beds, and it's like... We also have this really nice hotel that we yeah. rented, you know, that we, we were staying at this hotel for the weekend. Or not rented, but, you know, staying at this hotel for the weekend. Mm -hmm. And we had a nice big king bed and tons of space, tons of space, and we're like, and we're big people, so that's the hard thing about us when it comes to these rooms. Uh, She's five eleven, I'm six four. You even bring somebody else into that mix. I mean, there's a lot. It's it's a lot in a small space. So we were like, we could just go back to our hotel room, like you know, yeah. like. And and the clubs are open late. I mean, they. they Provada was open until 3 a.m. that night. Yeah. Um, but right around, I would say, like, 12, 30, everyone was either playing in the rooms. Um, everybody migrated really up to the top floor. Yeah, everyone um, was, yeah, up or in the lounge on the top yeah, floor the, or had left. You know, yeah, there wasn't the, the dance, yeah, the the dance floor, empty. The dance floor really emptied out. Um, we ended up walking around a little bit on the top floor, just noticed that, like, everything was taken. Oh, it was um, packed up there. And it was just floor. packed. And... That's that is one of the harder things for me, even too. Is just it was a lot of people, and Eric's when you're not, not a big fan of like, and he's sober, so he's just yeah. Like, so you're just uh, you're around a lot of people, and it was kind of eh. overstimulating. Yeah, and so we were like, you know, well, what do you want to do? Um, and so we ended up just we hung out on the second floor for a while, watched people dance and stuff on the pole, um, and then it was kind of like, all right, like let's let's go. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't going because, like, oh, we didn't find anyone there to meet or to hook up with or anything like that. It was just, like, it kind of hit that point. It was getting late. It was, like, Yeah, we, had, we knew morning. we had a flight the next day. Had a flight the next yeah. day. Uh, we had company. And so it was like, hey, let's let's just hit a um, an Uber back home. So we did. Um, even outside of the club, like, no one's harassing outside of the club. The security is outside the club also. And what, what did um, you realize when we were sitting outside the club before we were about to get in our Uber? What? You've been a year smoke free. Oh yeah, I've been a year smoke free. He realized this since we were sitting yeah. outside club. He's like, I'm a year smoke free. Yeah, because I'm smelling all the cigarettes. All smoke. the cigarettes were coming. He started talking about. It. He's like, Oh, smoking. 
And he pulls, he looks at his app and he's like, it's today. Yep. So, and we were like, oh, yay. yay. So, that, that so was, we moved away from the cigarette smoke. So we moved so we away from the cigarette smoke. <laughs> Um, hopped in our Uber and went. I mean, Provado is by far probably the coolest, funnest club. I mean, it's the only club that we've been to that we danced at. Um, it's like we actually, that was the most enjoyable. One. I would 100% go back. Yeah. I mean, I like, definitely was Portland. Highly re recommend it to anybody. And, anytime we go to takes, Portland, we'll go to Provado. And anybody that wants to, is curious about the lifestyle and wants to take like a little weekend trip, definitely like I would do it. I would go, you know, go explore Portland, go explore other things, but like definitely check it out. I mean, mm -hmm. and it's very, I, it was very safe. It was very welcoming. It was very. And that's a cool thing about Portland. I yeah. mean, they actually have three clubs. I mean, we're in Boise, you know, there are no clubs in Boise. No. Uh, Portland has three of them, um, but definitely, definitely check out Provada. That was by far, that's by far our most favorite club uh, that we've been to. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we just, we ended up going back to our hotel room and Having fun. Had fun and got <laughs> Had some fun. Sleep. <laughs> Barely any sleep. Barely any sleep. Woke, slept like four hours and then ended up catching the flight back home. Yeah, we had our our unicorn was with us and yeah, she stayed she stayed with us for the weekend. So we definitely had some fun. Yeah, and that's all just, we really say about that. Yeah, and she was super cool. I mean, when yeah, you when really you meet good. up with people, I mean, that's the thing in this lifestyle, like. You know, you'll meet a lot of people online, and one of the things that we're really big and conscious about, though, is is one, we get into group chats, but you talk to the, you you know if you're gonna vibe or not if you're talking to each other every day in this. Yeah, group we talked. Well, this this particular person, Shana, we talked every like her and I have been talking for like almost a month. Uh huh. And then like I, her and I talk like just girl stuff, but then like you know we're in a group chat too, and so all of us have really gotten to know each other and like. You know, video chats, and she watches, uh, you know, our, all of our lives, and she, you know, and so it's like, we felt like we really got to know each other, and so it wasn't even really awkward when we first met no. up, it was just like, hey, you're finally here! Yeah, I was like, hey, you're finally here, she's like, hey, she I brought this, coffee, and we're like, hey! She got me my cute little cup and stickers. Yep. And maybe little stickers with my names on it. And it was just, it was a lot of fun, I mean, it was, it ended up just being a great yeah, trip. Yeah, so we was, made a good friend, I made a new really good friend, we yep. had some fun, we had fun together. Yep. Which is important too. We always make sure we connect. We mm -hmm. went out to like on like a you know dinner date. We had fun. So it was like really a lot of like we were really big about like different dynamics of the trip. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah, and then we had our flight home and we made it to the airport, everything was fine. Our flight ended up getting delayed. I mean, I was a little hungover, I only slept like four hours. We were feeling a little rough. Or yeah. I was feeling he was tired. I was but, tired, but you were a little rough. And, and it was it was an interesting mm -hmm. day by the time we got home. I was definitely like, oh yeah. And even yesterday, still, I was still a little. It's definitely you gotta recover. It's not even just like alcohol per se. It's like just overstimulation. Overstimulation, and your hips, lack of and your sleep dancing. And and it's, yeah. My legs. Were, and then we went to the gym last night, and I was still so <laughs> sore. And you know, it was fun. It's and that's the whole point of going to these clubs is coming back and having a fun experience. You know, and talking about your experience. Mm -hmm. Because you know, it'll be well, so. Well, we really like to connect together after that. Like you yeah. know, if we do play with somebody else or anything like that, like having the conversations about it and how we felt and like just reconnecting together too is kind of like always that's that's, another that, turn that's, on. that's my biggest that's one of my favorite things like people she asked me once like what do you get out of this lifestyle like what do you get out of it because for me it's not about the body count it's not like, i don't need to go hook up with other people um mine is a lot of it like i love the reconnection part of it with her because it's like you're falling in love with the person again like that special time alone with them um, after a crazy weekend, after just a just crazy like, weekend, and, oh. and the, just the openness and discussions, you know, and the talking that you do, mm -hmm. you know, that that's the part that I thrive on with this, and it's made our relationship super healthy because everyone thinks, you know, oh, swingers and that lifestyle, it's creepy and and all of this, and it's like no, like not at all. Like, it's it funny. Every single person that we met and talked to this weekend was like the least creepiest people yeah. you could meet. Very healthy relationships, yeah. happy, happy, like yes. just so happy to meet yeah. other people, and not even like that we played with any of them. It was like these other couples or anything. And they were just nice, friendly mm -hmm. people. Like everyone was just so excited to just, like just friendly yeah. and nice. And I mean, the big thing is too when you go to the clubs, non-judgmental, which is. Right, and, and the big thing <laughs> is when you, when you go to the clubs, you got to go with like the intent of, like, with, even with her, like, the intent of, you're not there necessarily to go, you know, hook up with other people. No, you can't go I into mean, the day being like, we're doing this, we're, I'm getting late. Yeah, you know, even, like, with us, like, that's our thing. I was thing. excited to dress up yeah. and, like, I go mean, out and... I mean, there are people there that that's their thing. people in the lifestyle. But, 
but with us it's it's a lot of like connection and stuff and, and friendships and then wow. if we really vibe vibe then yeah if it happens cool. it happens it's one of those things that we just like to happen organically naturally we don't plan it at all we, yeah we don't um we don't like, like to even be with our people are like oh we assume just because like our friend that's a unicorn came up for the weekend if it didn't work out or it didn't vibe or like yeah. we just, and she wasn't feeling it i mean it wasn't like anything was expected no it was very all. like and we're super clear about that. Like, we don't expect anything except no. friendship. And if something happens, cool. And if it's something doesn't happen, like, hey, we're still friends, you know? It's yeah. not like our friendship and our life revolve around Yeah, us. we're not, like, uh, disappointed or, like... No, because you and I still have fun together regardless, yeah, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I would like, we're totally not disappointed that nothing happened. More of it was, like, I wish we would have had one more day in Portland. So I like, wish we would have had another day, and I wish we would have filmed more content, just yeah. because we don't do that at home. Yeah, we needed more content. Um, but I wish, and, like, I wish would, I would could have used another day just to, like, chill. And chill. And, like, yeah, and, but... So it's definitely, I feel like weekend trips are hard, but two nights, I definitely could have used, I like the three days. Yeah, yeah. I could have used the third day, just like Sunday to out, Mondays. having, having yeah. fun, flying back on Monday. Yeah. Um, it was a little bit of a rush trip, but I mean, all in all, it was a lot of fun. Um, definitely do it again. We had, we made, we will. made a great friend out of it and we definitely will be doing it again. We I definitely mean, will. Yeah, we will be. <laughs> no, that's not oh unicorn yeah. Unicorn landing, of course. Um, um so yeah, unicorn or like, or, um, as, as Unicorn Landing is growing, I mean, part of our thing is we want to be involved in the, the scene. I mean, we created, she created and runs, I mean, a dating app in this lifestyle, you know, for women connecting with each other. And our big thing is, is like, it is, we're in this lifestyle, so we understand a lot of it. We're, we're more, I would say, leaning, lean towards the spectrum of like more monogamous, but have fun in a sense. Uh, we're really big on the female connection side of it. Mm -hmm. Um even being a guy well and... just being for me personally it was like being very open with, with my sexuality and i'm you know not having to deal with creepy men i've had some bad experiences in the lifestyle just online and stuff not necessarily in person which is actually awesome never at a club or anything like that usually only online and so unicorn landing yeah kind of came about when a place for women to feel empowered and safe and to make the connections with other women even if they are in a relationship mm -hmm. and if it's somebody that i'm like you know meet and i think you know i'm comfortable with then we we have a group chat all of that that's Somebody biggest... asked me if I created Unicorn Landing last night just so I could meet people. Oh, that's right. I was like, yes, <laughs> they're all mine. No. <laughs> no, I actually haven't even met anyone. I mean, I've met people in my Discord and Facebook from them, but I haven't, like, met up with anyone. And, and that's the thing is, like, you know, it's it's a big deal in this lifestyle. I mean, you're sharing your partner with somebody else mm -hmm. in a very intimate way, in a sense. For us, it's more fun. It's not intimate because even where our it's boundaries like are. A, but it's like, hey, you know, somebody's, lot, yeah. somebody's doing all this stuff to my girl or to my wife or whatever. Um, it, you know, and it's one of those that those connections you have to feel comfortable with all parties involved, and you don't want it to feel a lot forced of people at want all. like a friendship. Like I'm, you know, you you want to kind of form those friendships with people. It's nothing um, better to have friends with benefits. Yeah, friends with benefits. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? Everyone loves that. Mm -hmm. Besties but, with benefits. Exactly. So I mean, it was a great trip. I had a I had a blast. I can't wait to do it again. Yeah, and we'll probably be back at the end of July. Yeah. Thank you for checking out podcast number 11 with the Impulsive Duo. You can also check our podcast out on Spotify and iTunes. A special shout out to our friend Shana, the Royal Sinesta Hotel, the Velvet Rope Lifestyle Club, and Club Pravada. We hope you enjoyed.